Morning all. I mean, rather, afternoon, pardon me. Let's have one or two games on the ICC auto pairing. Uh, George, he's a specialist with B3 and Bishop B5. I have some memories of quite a dangerous I am here. And he's 2375 at the moment. Let's not try and be a chicken like yesterday with the GM draw. Is he going to move though? I hope he's going to move soon. Time odds game. 30 second time odds. Is he not ready? Minute time odds coming up now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, finally, I think I'll try and surprise him in the opening. Uh, just not the uh, standard method. And I'll try and block in this bishop, I think. Uh, maybe c5 here. Okay. Can I just finish out this one? Does it matter about the a pawn? Try and get a, an aggressive position here. Aha! Uh -huh. Can I play f4 to shut down his uh, bishop? What was that asking? I don't know if that's asking for trouble. <clears throat> mm, he's always got this a pawn if he wants it. One set, okay. Can I get on with a, an attack with g4, a kind of king's engine style attack? Because it's kind of locked down on the queen side, so I treat it like a king's engine uh, position. I'll just play for g4 later, uh, or pretty soon. In fact, bishop h6 or bishop g7. I think bishop g7. I allow him to take rather than takes. I'm going to give him the e4 square. I'm not careful. I allow him to play. I'll play for g4. If I play rook f7, uh, I think. Uh, I think it's different if he's going to play knight f6 and knight e5. I think I would take. He's got no knight coming to e4 after. Mind you, h4 here might be interesting. Um, I suppose I could take and then take my queens on h4. I'll play for rook g7 and g4. Okay, could castle queenside. Is there any tactical like liabilities for me to exploit here? I can try and get a knight to g3 just to then later play on the queen side. If I play h4 and lock down the knight to g3, maybe it's an interesting plan. But then g4, I do really want to play g4 fundamentally. Um, this bishop's locked in the pawn chain. What if I did take, take, or take with the bishop? I think I'll take with the bishop. It's not really doing much. You can try and get pressure on. A3. Okay, I've got E4 covered. I try and get pressure going on A3. In fact, this rook can swing across like this as well. Um, this bishop could use potentially this diagonal if I got rid of this bishop here. So I think uh, that might be a worrisome continuation for him. Uh, just the treble here. In fact, if I want the treble, I think I need this knight out of the way simply and put the queen back. Then rook to a7, put the knight back. Maybe e4 at some point for knight e5. Oh, he's playing for g3. Do I lock that down? Would it give me anything locking it down? Um, should I wait for him to play over there? <laughs> Difficult decision. G G G4 is like a thematic break. He's going to get the E4 square after, and it could be quite dangerous. Um, I'm not leaving myself for any breaks. As soon as I play this, I'm breakless. So what about putting everything on on this side of the board? Actually, 
I change plan completely. I'll go for g4 as a plan, as the main break, even though my king's over here. Okay. Well, taking out at least I'm, I'm getting an f4 square. I can seal the f4 square here. Uh, I think that's an attractive uh, option. Um, well, I hope it's an attractive option. Mind you, g5 is now a target. We've got bishop c1 as well, but I've got pressure on a3 potentially. If, uh, maybe I've got to tie down the bishop to a3. We'll play knight g3. Knight g3 is an immediate concern, surely. Uh, which he's squashing with that move. Okay. Play here for a moment and then knight f4 next. And then and this knight's quite large at the moment on e4. Quite a large, powerful knight. So. Uh, will my knight on f4 compensate? For his knight on e4. <clears throat> There's no knight f6 without knight takes g5. Okay, but is he going to give me e5 and weaken a3? Okay, I need to somehow. Um, okay, think about this position. Uh, this rook's not really got too many uh, prospects. Uh, so for a moment. I'll try and maintain the clock advantage, I think is important as well, practically. What about getting this knight over to h7? That could be useful. Now knight f6 here, rook g5, knight takes e4, it's, it's not really that good. Um, okay, I'll keep this knight defensive, but he might have rook h4 at some point. Uh, or even taking here. Okay. Uh, potentially this this e5 square could be good for a knight. Uh, just not here. Potentially rook h4, rook f4, so it's a bit vulnerable my position. Like bishop f6 for bishop e5. Try and keep control of this diagonal. Bishop e5, it looks potentially comfortable. In fact bishop d4 attacking the rook tempo. Might be useful to drive, stop the uh, trebling. Okay, this a pawn's potentially vulnerable as well. Okay, that's safeguarding g7 a little bit more. Maybe queen e5. And then maybe doubling here for a4, but it's got a4 is quite solid with that knight there. Um, keep the queen kind of protected by lots of things. Everything's protecting g7, so there's no rook f4, rook h4 tactic. Uh, and in fact, I can move this knight now somewhere. Um, knight f6, though, is not on the cards. I think bishop e3 might be okay. Because my queen c3. c3 is dangerous for c1. And look at his clock. Only 30 seconds, but he did give me a kind of time odds. Uh, if I can sacrifice the exchange around here. I'll get out of the way first here a little bit more. Mind you, queen b2, it's bishop d4. I think it's just too short of time here. Uh, in fact, okay, I can't play rook h7 at the moment. What about queen d4? No, g5 drops. Um, okay, so I'm a bit passive. Okay, let's see what it just just what he would do to this. Okay, nothing much. <clears throat> Queen d4, there's always knight g5. Okay, what about this move? Threatening. Not much. Oh, it's Queen a1, he's giving me an entrance in time Time pressure. Okay, now bishop d4 looks good. Takes Queen c3, maybe it's not that convincing. I'll make sure I can. Uh, am I going to get the queen trapped? And there's queen c3 and bishop d4. Right, so, okay, it's not working there. Check. I think I've got to get a move on. Time warning. Oh dear. I'm losing this pawn. 
Oh, there's his time odds <laughs> punishing him in the end. So only 16 seconds there, and he's got G5. He's he's very very good player, very very good blitz player, but uh, the time odds uh, helped. Okay, uh, yeah, I think I've fallen to pieces actually in his final position. If he's taking there, maybe there's something. It looks as though I, I I've lost the thread here somewhere with this queen invasion. My G5 has become vulnerable. So he stepped back his knight, lured my queen over, and then went back for g5. And this is really quite a problem now. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks very much.